welcome back. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I could go on and on for like a million hours of small talk, which I want to do, but I have to hurry up because I am in a wedding tomorrow and I have rehearsal dinner and I was that drunk girl, not really, that showed up an hour early and then realized I was an hour early and now I'm at home for like 20 minutes until I have to go back. So I'm gonna do a video for you guys. I have a trunk club to do. I haven't done something like this, I feel like in a really long time, at least a year, and I'm so stoked. I hate my style, I hate it so very much. And I live a solid, like I'd have to drive for two hours to get to the nearest mall. I don't wanna spend two hours driving. That like, that would be like a day trip. and. I just don't feel like I have the time for it. So I haven't been going out and shopping and I really need to stop online shopping because I'm just like, I never really love anything. So anyways, what Trunk Club is, it is like Stitch Fix-ish, but it's Nordstrom, so it's Nordstrom brands. I'm getting into the habit of buying better pieces of clothing that actually last me for a while and aren't just like trendy. Clicking, clicking, I'm sticking to more of like a classic vibe to where it's not gonna go out of style next year and I just have to get rid of a ton of stuff because I've been decluttering so much and it's made me realize I just want a staple wardrobe. I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot of anything anymore. That's why I signed up for Trunk Club. So I'll just go through the process. I actually signed up two years ago um, and since then, and I went actually, this is the first time I've ever done it, they now let you do a style quiz. I, for some reason, because I signed up two years ago, was not allowed to do a style quiz. So I spent my stylist name is Carla, and I just was like typing away, telling her, and trying to describe my style because it would not let me do a quiz. So what I told her is I just want classic pieces. I like blacks, grays, whites, like very neutral colors as I'm wearing a bright red, and that I just like, I want stuff that isn't trendy. So she was all great, awesome. Cool thing about Trunk Club is they send you a mock-up of the stuff they're going to send. So like, she sent me a list of like eight-ish items. I got more than that. Um, and you can say yes or no, and she'll either, um, if you say yes, she'll keep it in the box. If you say no, she'll replace it, but she won't tell you what she's replacing it with, if that makes sense. You only get that list once. I hated everything on the list. Carla sent me a terrible first list, and I, in my mind, I was like, oh, I am not gonna like Trunk Club. But then, I got it in the mail, and Oh my gosh, do you see how big this is? Do you see how it has a little handle? I love this, I love this so much. I am so happy. I've already looked inside it because I just like could not wait. I peeked inside. It was packaged like so freaking adorable and I messed it all up. So that's not what it looks like when you get one. If you have a Nordstrom card, which I do, you actually don't have to pay like a styling fee. So if you don't have a Nordstrom card and you're using like a regular credit card, you would have a $25 fee, but that gets put towards a purchase if you make one. So it's kind of like the other services. But like I said, I have a Nordstrom card, so I could not like any of us send it back, it would not even get charged. So it's great for someone that does not live by a mall. The first thing is this top by Lilith. And it is black and it's like a work top. This is something I'm not sure. I need you guys to leave comments of what you like and what you don't like. It's a wrap top though. This box is driving me crazy. Let me put this over here. Only thing I don't know if I don't like the flutter sleeves. I don't you'll have to tell me. I have two pairs of pants that this will look good, and I do need stuff for when I'm like obviously at school counseling. Like I need to look professional, and I feel like this is a professional top. I don't have a lot of tops. I need tops. That's something that I told Carla I wanted was tops. That was a $45 from Leah. The next thing is another top, and this is by Lush. I love this brand. I think they also have it at Urban, and it's just an off-the-shoulder top, and it has these like big scrunchy bell sleeves. It's very like semi-sheer. So definitely be a summer top and not a work top. I do not like my shoulders. I have like a couple scars on my back that I just really do not like and I am very self-conscious about them and this I feel like just shows it off. So I don't think I'm going to end up keeping this. It's the cinched balloon sleeve top size medium and $45. So again not going to keep that. I told her I needed some black jeans. She sent me two different pairs. This is by Wit and Wisdom, and it is in a size of four. I like these, they're mid-rise. I'm more of a high-rise girl, um, but they're a little long, which isn't a big deal, because I always like fold them up. 
I just don't think I love them. So what I don't love, I am not going to keep, which is why I'm thinking that I may not keep that black flutter top. You guys just have to tell me what you think. Those jeans were $68. This one I struggled with because it is so freaking soft. It just reminds me of like a mom top. And I don't know if I can describe it any better than that. But it's just this really pretty mauve color. It's by Lush and it retails for $39. Again, so, so soft. Like I'm struggling with this one too. So let me know. Like, is it too momish? Like, I don't know. I feel like I am mom age and I don't want to be. I think I'm also struggling with that. Like I meant I should be dressing older and I'm not yet. Or I am in some like aspects and not in others. Okay, this pair of jeans, these don't look like jeans and that's what I have an issue with. But they're so freaking stretchy and comfy. They're a size 4 by um, STS Blue. They're called the Emma Ankle Skinny Jean. They're size 27, which is a 4. Um... And they are the right length on me. I think I want to keep these because I don't think they were that much. They're only $45. And I don't know. You guys have to let me know. I probably will end up keeping. I don't know. I think so. I need a pair of black jeans that don't have holes in them. Because the only jeans I have right now have like massive holes in them and they are not appropriate. Not that like it really matters. I'm not going to wear them. To, I don't know. I feel like I would wear this black jeans to school on like jeans days. Oh, I got a bracelet in here. They also send you jewelry and shoes. You'll see. This is by Kendra Scott. And it the thought was there. I just, I'm not someone that wears bracelets. But I'm trying to be more minimalist. And I can't take in things that I don't need. And that would be this gold bracelet. I don't need it. It is pretty though. And it retails for $75. Heck no. Sorry, that was the first time I saw the price on there. Ain't keeping you. Some of you love Kendra Scott, and I understand. And then, next, oh, this shirt, this was just like, a, nah. It didn't look right on me. My arms are too big for it. Um, this is by BP. It's in a size small. She sent me a, I asked for mediums and tops, but I understand why she sent me small, because, like, look how boxy and, like, huge it looks. But, like, the armholes are tiny, at least for my arms. I have bigger arms. I will admit that. Um. And then they're also like muscular, so like I'm not calling myself fat or anything. It's, like, it's semi sheer. I don't like wearing. I don't like having things that I have to wear stuff underneath of it. I do like the length of it though. I like like more cropped stuff. And this was only twenty two dollars, so I really appreciate the fact that she threw in a twenty two dollars shirt, especially when you're thinking of Nordstrom. Oh, I loved this. She nailed this. I linked my Pinterest and I'm pretty sure I had like this exact top on it. This is by PP. <laughs> this is by BP and it is a size small and I'm glad she sent me a smallness because like otherwise it would have just like fallen off my shoulders. I'm obsessed with this top. I know this shows my scars, but for some reason like I'm okay with it in this one. I think because it doesn't have straps, it's not as noticeable. But, like when the straps on my scar, I just I don't know, it bothers me. And this wasn't very expensive. This was only BP. Where are you at? Um $25 worth it. I'm for sure keeping this. Like, this is not even, like, hesitating on it. And then she sent a purse. I actually just went through my purses and narrowed down to eight, so I only have eight purses now. I'm very happy about that. It's been giving me anxiety. I don't know why. I just don't like having a lot of things anymore. Um, and she sent me this purse, and it is so cute. This is actually by Topshop, and it is only $38, and it's just really well made and has gold hardware. And my black purse now, like, I literally got it for a dollar, so I'm just going to replace this one and get rid of my other one, and I don't feel bad about doing that, especially since this actually works, whereas my other one, like, the flap didn't work anymore, so all my stuff would always fly everywhere. I just need a new one, and I love the size of it. It's, like... It's perfect sized and it has the shoulder strap, which is a must for me because I don't like clutches. So she did amazing on this. I don't know how Carla did such a terrible job in the first one and then just like killed it on the second one. I think because I linked my Pinterest the first time she didn't look at it and then when she realized like this girl's gonna hate everything, she went on my Pinterest and then just like, I mean this whole box reminds me of my Pinterest. It's beautiful. Another jewelry item, which, like, I don't buy jewelry anymore. I don't like my jewelry. I just want to throw it all away. Not really. I just want to sell it all. Um, and when I originally opened this, I was like, oh, I don't want jewelry. But 
this necklace is beautiful and I put it on with that black like off the shoulder top that I'm keeping and it just looked so pretty and it has like a gemstone on it like a mineralish geode looking thing I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this plus it was only $28 and that's like a staple piece I can wear to school I think this is beautiful okay and last two things are shoes which um, I have a thing also with shoes. I do not like getting shoes. I do not like buying shoes. I do not like storing shoes. I don't, I like wearing them. That's the only thing I do like about them. Um, I love these. She sent me a pair of Converse sneakers. These are $68 or $65. I can't fully remember. I know they were in the 60s. Um, $65. And they're size 9 and they fit the, I mean, they fit perfectly. I'm a size 9. They smell good too. The only issue I have, and I would have kept them, is that they come up so high in the back. Just having them on for, like, a minute, just walking around, my ankle's already rubbing off the skin on the back. So, um, I'm going to ask her to put a different pair of white Converse in next time, or Keds, that go down a little lower. Because that just did not work for my feetsies. And what I'm working on is getting rid of shoes that aren't, like, super comfy. Because why live life in uncomfy shoes? So the very last thing is this other pair of shoes and originally when I looked at the price tag first I was like heck no this ain't ever happening lady um oh why is this like this it's part of the packaging she like all wrapped stuff up in little bows it was so adorable I could not stress that enough she sent me free people shoes I love free people I can't afford free people though um $99 so I already uh, judged them right off and I was like these I don't care how pretty they are, they're going back, okay? Um, and then I got them out, though, and I put them on my feet, and they are so comfy. They are so freaking comfy, and they are so classic looking, and I love the little wood on it. They are beautiful. I just, like, I want to keep you. You smell delicious. You smell so good. They're, everything was brand new. I loved that about it. Everything was packaged brand new. These shoes have never been tried on. Like, I, I love this. This service, I'm, like, in love. And um, these don't fit me though. So she sent me a nine, but <laughs> my feet are too big. So I'm gonna see if I can exchange them for a nine and a half, which would be, because there is a, these are 39. If they have a 39 and a half, I'm gonna go ahead and order them. Because I'll get rid of three pairs of shoes if I can have these. And I'll sell them, my other shoes. So it'll be worth it. These just like literally so, 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 so comfy. And I will wear them. So that was my trunk club. That was everything. I literally love it. I'm so happy I did this. My boyfriend does trunk club and he's like obsessed with it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Um, and now I get why. Like this is amazing. So you got to try this if you haven't already. Especially if you're like me and don't live near anywhere else. And you just, you know, you need... To shop but you don't actually want to leave the house my only thing is like make sure you love it when you get it because otherwise it's really easy to be like oh I'll just keep it because it's already here no the one thing I will say is you better love it and that's why I'm thinking I'm only gonna keep the purse the black off the shoulder top and the necklace and maybe those shoes but I can't keep those shoes because they just don't fit they're too too small so, anyways, that was my trunk club. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little dose of old Britney. I gotta go to the rehearsal now because I'm actually gonna be on time. Might be even late. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go. Love you. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you really soon. Bye.